Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. The first computer I ever owned didn't have a hard drive. The second computer I owned only had one hard drive, and then over the years I learned that having two hard drives was usually better than one for a lot of reasons. A uh, community member at large who goes by the handle Mr. B Killed asked this question, when is a second hard drive worth it? And uh, my answer is probably going to be the same as just about anybody's answer here in the chat room. And I'll throw the question out to them and, and let them throw out their response to this question. But for me, uh, a second hard drive has always been my location for my documents. So any files I may create, uh, you know, save documents, spreadsheets, PowerPoint presentations, um, pictures, videos, all my data that isn't program related or like you know my utilities or applications, uh, I throw onto the my documents drive, and this is. Uh, sometimes the software that I would use to when I reinstall Windows uh, instead of having to redownload I have these binaries available locally uh, in some cases it would be all the way down to uh, backing up some of my uh, crucial user settings it's always put on that second hard drive um, in some cases I've put the Windows swap file on the second hard drive and that helped performance somewhat, although I don't really see the performance gains much anymore, uh, not since uh, installing Windows Vista. Um, didn't really see that as, as a big performance boost. But the idea of having two hard drives is being able to uh, not only have more space, but really more than anything, at least in a regular old setup, we're not even talking about a complex uh, RAID array, uh, and I'll get into that in, in a future video. Uh, just two separate hard drives that are running inside your computer. Uh, I would say, more often than not, that second hard drive is always recommended. Uh, like I said, if anything else, I would always choose to use that second hard drive to put all your documents on for one reason. If I mean, your hard drive can fail pretty much almost, I, won't, I don't want to say any time, I don't mean to make it sound so dire, but when you need to reinstall Windows, you know that the only drive you have to worry about is your primary drive where Windows is likely installed, your C drive. But if you have all your documents on a completely separate drive, then as long as you don't touch that drive when it comes to reinstalling Windows, you know all the data on there is going to be safe. That is peace of mind that is in valuable and that is one reason one huge reason why I always recommend keeping my documents your my documents your documents your data files on a completely separate hard drive completely separate not necessarily an external hard drive a second hard drive that's installed in your system uh, it's just gonna it's just it's safer so that way you don't have to worry about borking the C drive and not being able to get back into Windows and not having, figuring out, well, I gotta get my files back, I can't reinstall Windows because my files are in there. No, if they're all on a separate drive, then as long as that drive is fine, then all your data that you don't wanna lose is going to be fine as well. That is the, in my mind, only reason to have a second hard drive installed in your system is to make sure that all your documents are nice safely tucked away on another drive that's the number one reason that is my number one reason for doing just that so that way you can keep your OS on a completely different and your programs on your primary drive and your documents and data on a separate drive in some cases uh, you know uh, this is probably easier to do on OS 10 but you know keeping your programs on a different drive so that when you install the base uh, core operating system uh, you don't have to go and, and re-download and reinstall your uh, your programs at least like I said that's better more easily handled with OS 10 than it is with Windows uh, because of the way Windows handles preferences and and uh, installation routines and oh, it's, oh Windows can be a nightmare at times uh, so work around it, get a second hard drive, and uh, what RPM speed hard drives do I own? 7200 RPM, you know, standard. Uh, nothing too fast. I, I wish I had something faster, but uh, I guess I gotta wait uh, for, uh, well, I'm just gonna wait. <laughs>
Anyway, uh, if you have any uh, other ideas on why or when someone would want to install a second hard drive, by all means, make suggestions. Uh, you're free to also email me anytime, uh, chris at perillo.com. I do read all my email. I may not respond to every email, uh, but we do frequently use email questions in uh, answering these uh, or answering you directly in these videos. Uh, and of course, you know, you're welcome to uh, swing by the chat room anytime, day or night. Leave your suggestions. Uh, ask more questions, and we may be able to answer. And if I can't answer it right away, if I'm not here or not paying attention to the chat room, then there are plenty of people who certainly are, and we're available, all of us, the community at large, all the time, <laughs> seven days a week, at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.